All right. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rekha Kodash, the bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all the I can push the verb to say with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world and he calls God Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, through the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and Rekha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the uh, special, it's like, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other, other nations whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Although their uh, uh, outer appearance may not seem that seem to be, you know, a hey, you still are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be, you know, Salaki. Like but hey, I'm the brother of Dyer from the Great Stone Branch back out here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, Everything Gets Better When... Yahweh Shai come returns. You see, in our people, uh, right now they don't understand that a hey, the only true change happens is when the Lord comes. You see, it tells you in a, in a, in a, uh, curses in Deuteronomy twenty eighth chapter that hey, amongst the nations where we will be scattered to, we're not gonna find any rest, and no man is gonna save you. You see, true rest comes when Yahweh Shai comes back and a hey, saves his people. And that's what we're uh, preaching here, you know, and that's the good Titans, Isaiah, the 61st chapter. The Lord is going to come back, save his people, deliver them back in their land, give them new bodies, a, a new heart to serve their power. And they're going to serve. Hey, they're not going to go off anymore. You see, a hey, living conditions for us is, is going to get better. You know, we're not going to be cramped up in these in, in these apartment buildings, you know, eating the crumbs off the rich man's table. We're not going to be living like this, man. We're going to go from hey, a dunk hill to royalty. A, 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 when the Lord comes back, you know, this is Malachi 4 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And a, the judgment, the ultimate judgment day is, is approaching, man. A, a, the day Yahweh uh, Shemel Shai allows those ICBMs to be shut off and they destroy this place. It says, Yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up, save Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And hey, we're approaching that time, man. Hey, measure out the times diligently. You see, you see what's going on in the world. Everything is becoming digitalized. It's famines. You know, moral decay is at an all-time high. Hey, the earth is ripe for for the picking. It's ripe for the destruction. It says, uh, verse two. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness. Ri arise with healing in his wings and that's Yahweh Shai. So those that, that, that are fearing the Heavenly Father, reverencing him and his son, hey, Yahweh Shai is going to come back with, with, with healing. He's going to take the curses off of us. We're going to be able to actually live. You know? He's going to deliver us back into our land. We're going to be sovereign. You know, we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to have to suffer. Be uh, You know, we're not going to have to go through unrighteous decrees, un un unlawful uh, justice systems, man. It says the government is going to be upon Yahweh Shai's shoulder and he's going to establish an order with equity. You see? Hey, hey, our families are going to be a hey, we're going to actually be able to enjoy our families. You know, it says, but unto you, therefore, my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as the cows of the stall. And that's when we're going to prosper. You see, here in America, we're not going to prosper. Hey, we have the curses on us. The Lord didn't send us here to prosper as a nation. No, he sent us here to uh, be on punishment, but hey, our punishment comes to an end. That's why in the book of Baruch, I believe the fourth chapter, it tells you to suffer patiently the wrath that the Heavenly Father have put upon you. For he that have brought these plagues upon you is the same as going to take these ones off you and come and deliver you, roughly paraphrasing. You see, but hey, this is, uh, I grab this Isaiah 25 and 8. It says, he will swallow up death and victory and Yahweh power will wipe away the tears from all faces. And that Yahweh Shai, he already conquered death. And they ultimately, when he comes back, he's going to do the same for his elect. And then the rest of the, the, rest of the nation of Israel. But hey, he ate. we're no longer going to sin. We're never longer going to commit iniquity. He's going to change us. And hey, if we don't bring, if we don't commit iniquity, we don't die, man. It says, Yahweh power will wipe away tears from all faces. And that's speaking of the Israelites, man. So we ain't gonna we ain't gonna have to experience our people selling drugs to one another, destroying each other. You know, our men, a a a a as it says in Lamentations, you know, in in that uh, earthen earth uh, being compared as earthen vessels, they're gonna be royalty again. You know, our women are not gonna be harlots. You know, our people are gonna actually be able to uh, enjoy. 
You know, they ain't gonna just be walking around pissed off all day, you know? You know, uptight, stressed out, going through it, oppressed, poor, you know? It says, Yahweh power will wipe away all tears from all, all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all from off all of the earth. So hey, the reproach, the follow, the hey, the curses, all that's gonna be taken off of his people. You see? It tells you in the book of Isaiah, you know, in a lot of chapters that hey, everyone is gonna acknowledge that we are the chosen seed of the Lord. We're no longer gonna be called black thugs, criminals. They're gonna be bowing down to us. <sighs> It says, for Yahweh hath spoken in the name of Heavenly Father, and he, and he is written. He is not a man that he shall lie, so it's going to be fulfilled, man. The scriptures say, these are faithful and true. It says, verse 9, and it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our power. We have waited for him. And hey, the scriptures, hey, it says we're going to admire his, uh, admire his appearing, love his appearing. I believe the Apostle Paul said that he has a crown. You know, waiting for him and all those that love his appearing. So it says, we have waited for him and he will save us. This is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The Lord is going to deliver us from the ultimate judgment, the second death. It says, for in this mountain shall the hand of Yahweh rest and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunk hill. So Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai is going to come back. A abase these these proud nations, the proud waters, and a uplift his people. And a and then Revelation 13 and 10, I believe. Here's the faith and the patience of the saints. You know, hey, we're gonna put two other nations in captivity. A part of our reparations, repairing of us. You see? It says, uh, even as straw is trotting down for the dunk hill. You see, that's this is what we look forward to. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 1. It says, Again, the word of Yahweh of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus saith Yahweh, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. The Lord is going to come back and be on good terms with his people. And he's going to dwell amongst us. You know, his presence is going to be on the, on the planet Earth. Hey, the scripture said that knowledge of the Lord is going to hey, hey, oh, it, be abundantly in the earth. Roughly paraphrased. It's like it. it says, And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth and a mountain of Yahweh of hosts, the holy mountain. Hey, our people, hey, 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 we're no longer going to be uh, thugs uh, destroying one another. No. Hey, hey, justice and judgment and equity is going to flow forth from us so much that hey, hey, the other nations are going to come up and learn of the Lord from us and of our ways. You see, so we're going to come from being a, the, the, the third class people to a, the, the ruling majesties. It says, verse four, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. So we're going to live very long, man, forever. Right. It says in the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. <laughs> so our children are going to actually be able to live, man. You're going to actually be able to enjoy. You're not going to have to be all over their shoulder, peeking out the window, making sure some alphabet or, 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 or pedo come and swipe them off the streets. We don't have to worry about that. It says in Deuteronomy, Israel shall dwell alone safely and none shall make her afraid. Isaiah tells you uh, that that uh, violence shall no, be, mo no more be heard, you know, amongst our people in our land. It says, verse 5, And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Verse 6, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, saith Yahweh of hosts. So hey, the Lord, hey, as he said, hey, it's, a, it's his pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. The Lord, hey, he looks forward to doing this unto his elect, you know, and then the rest of Israel, of course. It says, verse 7, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the, the west country. And I will bring them and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and they shall be my people and I will be their power and truth and in righteousness. So the Lord is going to save us and hey, hey, he's going to hey, he's going to deal with us. You know, he's no more, longer going to be a uh, far off. <sighs> this is Proverbs 11 and 10. When it go of well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth and the wicked perish. There is shouting. So as it says in Isaiah, the 10th chapter. 
Hey, when a king of Babylon falls, hey, the earth is going to rejoice. When the wicked falls, the earth is going to rejoice. And hey, when the when the righteous is ruling, the people, uh, the people rejoice. Roughly paraphrase of Proverbs 29 and 2, I believe. It says, uh, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. And they, everything is going to flourish because the righteous people are going to be ruling. Hey, hey, that, that all happens when Yahweh Shai comes back. And uh, lastly, this is uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth will pass away. Hey, we're, hey, it's gonna, we're entering into, hey, it says that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That new age, that new rulership is going to be Jacob, right? It says, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, the elect of the Most High, coming down from out from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Verse 3, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High shall be with them and be their power. Verse 4, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Ain't gonna be no, your, your mom not gonna pass, your dad not gonna pass, you know, your, your sister not gonna get shot, your, your son. We ain't gonna worry about them things no more. Neither sorrow, you know, you're stressing over bills, you can't even enjoy your life. Worrying about homework and, and, the, and the, the pressures of this life, all that's going to be passed over with. It says, no crying, you're not going to be hurt. You know, your girlfriend not going to break your heart. <laughs> it says, neither shall there be any more pain. You know, hey, hey, no more pain, man. This life we live here, as it says in Second Address, hey, hey, it's not with much glory doth abide. Hey, we cry here, we go through pain here. We go through a, a necessary, unnecessary hardships, you know, because it is our punishment, you know. But, hey, this this ain't it, man. We sorrow here. We groping. Jake is all through, strung out on drugs, messed up. But all that ends when your house comes back. He's going to come back with healing and a, a salvation for those that have been waiting for him and all a, ultimately destruction for those that is against life. It says, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. See, the former things, the things that we've been growing up and accustomed to, all that shit is going to be a set on fire, literally. And we're going to enter into a new rulership, the rulership of the Israelites, of Yahushai and his government. And a, all the good things, goodly things of the scriptures that we read about, a, our goodly heritage, our land, the promises, Jerusalem being built up with stones and gold and sapphires and precious metals and all this. We're going to be able to experience those things. And that all comes when Yahweh Shai returns. So, hey, I can keep pushing. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. Because, hey, everything is going to get better. Hey, when our Lord appears. Hey, call it Laim La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Harakah Kodash. The ones to the elders and the apostles of the great middle stone. Salutation to all I can push the word to charity with charity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa Baba Ball.